Um, I'm just gonna jump right into it. I got a lot of trash that's big and bulky and I kind of want to throw it out. Emily just got home from school, so she's kind of laying down for a nap. She's putting herself to sleep right now. She kind of whines and complains a little. So you might hear her in the background is what it is. I also have our dishwasher running, so you might hear that like that. But all right, let's get started. First thing we went through were the diaper pail bags for our diaper pail. We have the Arm & Hammer one. And these bags are super hard to find. I actually ended up getting these from somebody online for free because these are super hard to find because nobody really makes this diaper pail anymore. So, and they don't make just regular bags where they only make the scented ones that they sell at Walmart and they're almost a dollar a bag. So we went through these, these were 32 bags. We go through about three to four bags a week because my daughter's three and still in diapers because she has special needs. Please don't say it's my lack of trying, but my thought is she has bigger problems to worry about than us trying to fight over potty training. My daughter still doesn't eat right, so my thought is let's just, I'll coupon for diapers for the rest of her life if that's what it takes. On to some laundry soap. This week I went through two bottles of OxyClean from our stockpile. You can tell that these are really, really old because these are still old packaging. And like, I know that this one's over a year old because we had something freeze and bust upstairs. So that's what that is. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, these are over, I got these free couponing when Emily was only about two years, about two months old. So I've had these for at least two or three years upstairs. So we finally got through them. They work fine. This one was actually a free and clear one, which, so it wasn't blue, but I mean, it still smelled the same. I don't know how it can be free of perfumes if it still smells the same. But anyway, so those two are gone. They work well. I got two packs of these 10 count dishwasher packs from Dollar Tree. I love these, but Black Friday, if you guys saw my Black Friday haul, at Lowe's I found a 40 pack of Method brand um, dishwasher tabs on clearance at, at Lowe's for $1.06 a package. So I bought all that they had, and at that point they only had, I think, 10, I think, out. But I went back to Lowe's the other day and they had another 40 of them out. So we bought all of them. So yeah, these are great, but I found a better value if I ever need them again, which I doubt I will because I now must have like seven or eight years worth of um, dishwasher tabs. So if I had to, I would buy these again. And I have one more package, which I'm gonna use up before I go to my method ones. They work great. Now these I got couponing at CVS. They had had them on clearance, I think two years ago, for a dollar for this big container. And actually what I do with this is I take them out of the container because I find this packaging very bulky. I fold them into one another and I put them in a baby wipe container and I use them that way. It's a lot less bulky and I can shove it on a shelf a little bit easier. But these worked well. Um, they're still moist after two years of being sealed upstairs in my attic. Good thing because I have about 30 or 40 more of these upstairs that we're now going through. We were going through some Lysol ones before this that I had gotten free couponing. But yeah, these worked awesome. Um, they smell just like the, like the lemon smells just like the Clorox. So yeah, I'm obviously going to keep using them because I got them. Now guys, I love CVS brand diapers. I think that is Emily because she's mad that she has to go down for her nap. She does this every day. She's fine. Don't worry. We believe that she has to calm herself and kind of whine it out and she will eventually fall asleep. It's okay. Literally, she's like 10 feet away from me in the bedroom. She is fine. She's still in a crib. She can't hurt herself. Don't worry. Um, these work awesome for Emily to sleep in. These are the CVS brand. I can, I make these comparable to the um, Huggies Overnight Diapers. And I got these free couponing at CVS. So yeah, I still have, I think, like 10 or 11 packages of them up in my attic, so I'll continue to use them. This was another coupon find from Dollar General. I posted a video on this about three or four weeks ago. 
This came down to, I think, a dollar a jar at Dollar General. I love it. I still have one more left. The smell is just amazing on this. So yeah, I love this. I love the Gain Fabric Softener. I would continue to use it, considering that's the second bottle I went through. All right, I gotta cover up the, hang on. This is actually a prescription, but I want to show you. Um, my, I just want to tear the label with Emily's last name and stuff on it. Um, this is a Pedialax enema. I got no shame talking about it. Look at guys, my daughter, my daughter has severe constipation. Um, we've been battling it since she was first born. She's low tone because of the Down syndrome. She's low tone because of Down syndrome and um, it causes really, really, really bad constipation. So the doctors prescribed enemas for her and I was a CNA, I was in nursing school, so I do them all at home, I do all of her medicines at home, everything like that. I know what I'm doing. It's a, it's a lot easier because literally she was so, she was constipated one time and I brought her to the hospital because it had been almost a week since she had pooped and she was in pain. Like you could see it, it was bad, it was bad. She was only about a year old at this point. And all they did was give her two enemas. Like, girl, I can give an enema at home. I've given enough enemas to old men that I know how to give one to my child. So anyway, my doctor, who is awesome, I wouldn't ask for a better primary care doctor than the doctor that we have. He just prescribed them, and now I give them to her at home. So even though it says ages 2 to 11, I was giving her these at 10, 11 months, and because the doctor prescribed them. So anyway, these are awesome. They're kids size enemas. They work amazing. They, I can't give enough hype to them. I, I love them. I wish they would make them more available because I had to go to like four different CVS's for them to have this. But this is an amazing, amazing product for your kids if they're constipated. It's so easy to give. Um, it provides almost instantaneous relief within a half, within probably about five, 10 minutes, they will have bowel movement. And it's the most amazing, you know, relief that, she's mad at me now, she's screaming for daddy. Anyway, she's screaming for daddy because mommy put her down for nap. Anyway, this is a really, really old sample of mascara. I've had it for at least two years. I went to try and use it the other day. Um, I use, I try to use my mascaras until they're gone. I don't believe in that three month rule. I figure if I'm the only one using it, I'm going to use it till it's gone. Well, it's finally gone. And this is from the balm and it was the bodybuilder mascara. The brush looks like that. It's nothing special. I don't think it really did anything. It was a very dry, clumpy mascara. I mean, look at that clump that's on that brush did not do much for me. I used it because, hey, I got it. Why should I throw it out without using it? But mm, that's something I would invest the money in. This is a sad thing for me. I love Bath and Body Works candles. Look how crappy this candle burned. Look at that. I had to even dump wax out, as you can tell. And these are not cheap candles. Yeah, I think I got this one at a semi-annual sale for like a dollar, but still. Leaves smells amazing. It's like apples, pumpkin, spice. Hang on, let me see if I can read you what it says. It says, jump in a pile of leaves. All right, celebrate the brilliant colors of autumn with this rich blend of golden nectar, red apple, and spice berries. Okay, so it's, yeah, I agree. It is more berry than pumpkin, but to me, I kind of got like the squashy, but anyway. My point being, look how sh crappy that burned. I think what I'm gonna do though is pull the wax out and put it into my wax warmer because that's a lot of wax to waste. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with that because I'm not throwing all that wax out. All right, little less exciting. We went through a big lots brand of paper towels. These were eight rolls. We got them back on the 20% off sale. And I think, so we paid, they were on sale for $4.88, down for $5, and then we got an extra 20% off of that. So uh, it comes down to like $3 for eight rolls of paper towels. These worked amazing. I would continue to buy them there. So every time they have a 20% uh, off sale, I'm probably gonna go stock up on paper towels, because that was a good deal. I went through some more coupon items. Uh, three boxes of these Gain dryer sheets. 
I love these. I got these at least two years ago couponing for free. So yeah, I'm going to continue to use them. Why not? They work well. So yeah, those worked awesome. Another package of my favorite baby wipes, The Honest Company. Um, yeah, we still have a couple more, a couple more of them left, so I'm going to keep using them. I love them. I'm not a snob, though. I'll use any baby wipes that you give me, but those happen to be my favorite. Everybody was sick, so this is our favorite. This is Sudafedrin. You have to show your license to get it. You don't want to OD on it because it has some of this, it, it, it can be bad, but it works amazing for us when we were sick, so we went through that. Um, another soothing bath treatment, similar to like the Aveeno bath. This was for Emily because of her really, really bad rash. And uh, that was just the um, Rite Aid brand. See, now this Bath and Body Works candle burned perfectly. This is Villa Bergamot. Um, this one, to me, smelled very masculine, almost like one of their manly body washes that they have. This one says, aromatic bergamot grown in the warm and sunny Calabria region of Italy provided the inspiration for this elegant citrus blend uh, includes lavender and geranium that's why that's why I like it because I smell the lavender in it yeah I love lavender I have lavender essential oil in my diffuser right now love it yeah I love this candle but for the price for ten dollars mm -mm, not worth it but anyway it was a good candle I'm just really like this one burned so well like there's like, I just don't understand why that leaves candle burn so crappy. Oh, a box of Scotty's tissues. I got these free couponing. They were tissues. They worked. They stopped our nose from running. All right, these go along with the us being sick. I used up this um, Listex Deep Renewal um, chapstick. I'm trying to use up all my half-used chapsticks that I have laying around the house. These are the first two to go. This is a deep renewal one. Works fine. I got it free couponing, so it was good for free. Then this one is really old. I got this free couponing at CVS, too. Um, this is chapstick, and it has two different flavors. This side was a lemon. And, like, I even dug this stuff out of there, guys. I didn't just, like, throw out my this one I kind of did because I didn't want to get the red on my finger. But yeah, I used them up as much as I could. And um, so this one was lemon berry sorbet. So lemon and berry. Um, next is, oh, only two more things. A travel pack of Honest Baby Wipes. Love these. Awesome. I just don't like how not, th I, this one I didn't use as a travel pack. I used it as a regular, just put it in our um, wipe dispenser. But I keep. I can't justify using these on travel because this thing doesn't stick very well and sometimes they'll drive out. And if I'm spending a dollar for 10 baby wipes, best believe you better know I don't want to waste any of them. Anyway, last thing, this kind of goes with the, um, when I got sick, my back started to hurt really bad and I was already taking cold medicine that had Tylenol in it, so I didn't want to take any more acetaminophen. Um, so I used these, I got these free couponing at CVS also. These are beyond body heat. They're just, they're meant for like when you have cramps, like when you get your period, but I just used that on my back. It's like this little thing that you just peel the sticky adhesive off, slap it on and it gets hot. This worked awesome. Um, the only thing I wish is the adhesive wasn't very strong, so I had to use some saran wrap around my body to get it to stick on or stay on. But anyway, besides that, it got really hot, so that's fine. All right, that is, just making sure everything I got for this week. The bag smells like my dryer sheets. <laughs> so anyway, that's about it. I don't think I have any life updates. Yeah, you guys will probably see me soon. I have, um, I'm going to share my meal plan that I made for this month. And um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.